The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. It is our second of four championships set to be decided here tonight at No Mercy. And here comes the young hungry blue chipper known as meaner than evil, Braun Breaker. The number one contender has been on a collision course. And just over the last month, he has defeated Dolph Ziggler inside a solid steel cage, ending a summer long rivalry with the show off. We have seen Braun Breaker pin the one and only Ricochet. And just last night on SmackDown, Breaker defeating the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis. But could Cody Rhodes be next on the hit list of that man right there, Ron Breaker, the former two-time NXT champion who has been on the hunt for months to win his very first title on Friday Night SmackDown. Unfortunately for Breaker, he failed to win the world title back in May. He failed to win Money in the Bank back in July. But will the third opportunity be the charm? for this meaner than evil son of a bitch, Braun Breaker. He looks ready, he looks focused. Cody Rhodes better have his game face on because this is gonna be a war. And here comes the prodigal son, the American Nightmare. Most importantly, the beloved holder of the United States Championship. Cody Rhodes is here in Baltimore, a city that has hosted many of the United States title bouts over the years, but the championship has changed hands on numerous occasions, sometimes in this very building. History we will document momentarily as Cody Rhodes makes his way down the aisle. That is a superstar before our beloved eyes. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes demands your attention. And there is a reason he has taken SmackDown by storm since his WWE return back at WrestleMania earlier this year. In this very building, the United States Championship has changed hands. When it was a part of the WCW, Jeff Jarrett won the title. Here in Baltimore in December of 1999, it was back in 2003 at the No Mercy event where the Big Show defeated the late great Eddie Guerrero to become the United States Champion. In this very building, Matt Hardy in 2008, Zack Ryder in 2011. Just some of the times that red, white, blue, and gold has changed hands here in this great city of Baltimore, Maryland. And could lightning strike twice once again here tonight? Braun Breaker has laid out Cody in recent weeks. He stared him down and threw down the gauntlet that he wanted the gold. But can Breaker get the job done? Or will the run of the American Nightmare prove to be just getting started here tonight at No Mercy? Introducing the challenger from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Certainly a big fight feel here at the CFG Bank Arena as the United States Heavyweight Championship of Friday Night SmackDown is on the line. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes handing over the title for possibly the last time in this reign already. Cody successfully defended the gold against the one and only Ricochet on the SmackDown after SummerSlam. The same night Braun Breaker set his sights on Cody. But who is gonna leave no mercy holding the gold? We find out right here, right now. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Gotta imagine Cody Rhodes is a little bit fired up tonight. Looking to teach Braun Breaker some respect as he takes Breaker off his feet in the early moments. As we mentioned during Braun Breaker's entrance moments ago, a man who has been on the hunt for championship gold on SmackDown for months, 
He pushed Drew McIntyre to his limit back in May at Vengeance, unfortunately failing to win the World Heavyweight title. He was one of the SmackDown participants in Money in the Bank back in June. Failed to take home the briefcase, of course. But could tonight be the night that mere than evil Braun Breaker takes the next step in his SmackDown career and leaves with the United States title? Cody Rhodes trying to make sure that that does not happen off his behalf. Classic Cody Rhodes in the early going with that elbow and then the scoop and the slam right there. And Cody Rhodes throwing some fists, not afraid to brawl, especially with somebody who is known for car wreck carnage between the ropes and certainly on the outskirts, Braun Breaker. This should be an interesting fight for Cody. Braun Breaker, as we mentioned, as you saw in the video package, he smashed that red, white, blue and gold championship over the skull of Cody four weeks ago on SmackDown. That is not something that just wears off overnight. Gotta wonder if Cody is coming in with any early fatigue. However, off that disaster kick and off the opening sprint, Cody Rhodes is looking pretty hot thus far. The bionic elbow that the American Dream baby would be proud of. But it's only a one count. But Braun Breaker has gotta be feeling this onslaught from Cody. He'll get to his feet as he does, but Cody Rhodes is right there to make sure Braun, Braun cannot close the gap in momentum right now. Breaker rolling to the outside, but he's not safe because Cody's going for the suicide dive, and he lands right on the rib cage of the number one contender. Cody Rhodes is fired up, and he's looking to retain his United States Championship. All in the process of teaching this young man some respect tonight in Baltimore. Cody off the apron, going for look to be a takedown, but Breaker sidestepped it at a clothesline of his own. Oh no, not on the outside of the ring. Braun Breaker's got Cody up. Oh man, power bomb on the apron. Oh, and he swings around with it, and the shoulder of Cody squashed up against the steel beam that is underneath that ring skirt. And just like that, the tides of change come over this matchup. Cody Rhodes is in the ring, and although he may be on his feet, you notice he's not trying to close the gap and go after Braun Breaker. Knows he was hurt moments ago, and he's got to let that rest up and recuperate as much as he can. It's Breaker back on the champion. On the hunt for the gold. Wait a minute, Cody gets taken down off a of midsection Bulldog. And Baltimore may not be. Braun Breaker's favorite town to be in. Let's just leave it at that. But Cody Rhodes, however, I should say Braun Breaker, not even uh, phased by the crowd reaction, if you will. Braun Breaker is a blue chipper. He's got a mean streak. This has been well documented for months on SmackDown. Owns numerous big time victories against some of the hearts and souls of the blue brand, like Mustafa Ali, like Ricochet, like Dolph Ziggler. The Breaker wants to see his name in the history books. Wants to carve his name in the annals of the United States Championship lineage. But Cody Rhodes has obviously got other plans. Fought so hard to defeat Gunther at SummerSlam. Wanted that matchup so bad, and he pulled out the win at the biggest party of the summer. He's not looking to see this championship reign go up and smoke that early. Almost retaining the gold there off the moonsault, but Braun Breaker Still got the dog in him to keep fighting. The hip toss there that never goes out of style. Cody Rhodes is an old school heart. We know that about the American Nightmare. And it has been beneficial for him in his WWE career to say the least. Well now Breaker, fireman's carry position. Big time slam. And Cody just ate the canvas for Saturday Night Snack. Oh wait a minute, Breaker in the corner. Look out! for a spear that just cut Cody Rhodes in half. And we're gonna have a new United States champion. Breaker's gonna win it here, but Cody gets the shoulder up and that was a close call for the American Nightmare. Face first off the canvas, and Breaker hit the spear. Only got the two. Damage obviously done, which Cody was trying to hurry up this matchup. Breaker survived the roll up, but that could really tell a story that Cody is not feeling 100% at the moment. And a sense of urgency may be coming over the American Nightmare to get the job done while he still can. Breaker on the outside, the United States Champion Cody Rhodes on his tail, and a drop kick and a down fall for the number one contender. Cody's gotta be hurting off that spear. 
Braun Breaker may be hurting off that stiff shot and the fall. And there's Cody Rhodes with an unbalanced dive to the outside. It ain't pretty, but it's certainly effective. And I think that's all the champion cares about. Taking the challenger off his feet and trying to keep him there. Cody Rhodes not afraid to see this match go to the outside. Not afraid to brawl with the number one contender. Breaker laid him out with his own championship a few weeks ago. That goes beyond business. That takes things into a personal level. That's trying to injure Cody Rhodes. Cody does not appreciate that, nor should anybody. And now tonight he sees Braun Breaker inside of the ring and wants to get that three count to remind Breaker that even though you're talented as all hell, even though your day will come, it's just not going to come at the expense of my United States title reign. As Cody now with the cross body off the top rope and into the cover. And another close call, but Braun Breaker survives again. Great wrestling matchup for the United States Championship thus far. As Cody goes for the suplex. Again, keeping it old school, but keeping it effective. A move that never goes out of style, and a move that Braun Breaker realizes that he's got to bounce back from. Wait a minute. He's got the champion up, and he's got the champion down for the press slam. And that may do it. New champ on the horizon, not just yet. Braun Breaker thought he had Cody. He has beaten many of, oppo uh, of opponents, excuse me, with some of those same maneuvers, the spear. The fireman's carrying into the press slam. But Cody Rhodes is a different breed. Braun Breaker knows that from doing his study of the American Nightmare. Breaker's a student of the game, but the American Nightmare is as well. Cody may be down, but I don't know if Cody's out yet. But Breaker trying to make sure he is dropping the elbow to the spine of the United States champion. Braun Breaker taking a moment to soak things in, but I don't think this is the right idea. The champion's down. The champion could be out. And this is where something we have had, that has been well documented throughout the summer, throughout Braun Breaker's pursuit of championship gold. Very naive at times and really lets that take over. The ego flows through Breaker. We've seen him make, make missteps in these types of big time matches in the past. Ron Breaker needs to go for the kill. He needs another spear, he needs another fireman's carry before Cody gets back into this. And speaking of such, Verna Breaker to retain the United States title No. And that's not a move that is gonna win Cody Rose the matchup tonight but it's certainly a move that is going to add to the damage toll of the number one contender. Breaker into the ropes and Cody delivers a knee to take him down. Cody has yet to attempt that crossroads in this matchup. And probably for good reason. Everyone knows that's Cody's best target in his arsenal. And everyone's going to do their homework and try to scout a reversal for it. Cody's got to save it for when it matters most. So trying to get creative right now as he hangs Breaker up in the top rope with a kick right to the midsection. Now speaking of kicks to the midsection, Cody pummeling the number one contender in the corner. And the champion is on the pursuit of beating down the challenger, proving his worth as the United States Heavyweight Champion on Friday Night SmackDown. Breaker to his feet, but there's Cody off the drop kick. Cody's building some massive momentum. But it doesn't matter as Braun Breaker still has life left in him. This is what the United States Championship is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Leaving your heart and soul and everything you got in between the ropes. That is how Cody won the title. Whether you like Breaker or not, that is really how he became the number one contender. It wasn't just attacking Cody Rhodes, but it was the arsenal of wins that Breaker was putting together. Now back in the corner, Breaker could be looking for a dose with that spear. And if he hits this, that may be the end of Cody's title reign. But Cody had it scouted and delivered a knee off the slingshot out of the corner by Breaker. A much-timed reversal by Cody that may pay him dividends in the later rounds of this matchup, which we have entered. And Cody heading up to the middle buckle. United States champion's wheels are spinning. Going for a drop kick, but this time Breaker has it scouted. You can only go to the well so many times with the same maneuvers before it's your own misstep and your opponent takes advantage. That's what Cody just found out. With the ropes and oh man. 
Man, if that doesn't tell you the strength of Braun Breaker, I don't know what will. Sending Cody into the ropes, meets him there with a shoulder block, and the champion just went flying up and over into the outside. It's only a measure of Braun Breaker's creativity. It's Breaker just trying to beat down the champion. They can wither away from pillar to post. And hopefully leave on the other side as the United States champion of Friday Night SmackDown. Match continues on the outskirts, and Cody getting set right in the barricade. The United States champion is in trouble right here, man. Braun Breaker is starting to pick the bones of the American Nightmare, and he better get things going before it's too late. Cody hit that Verter Breaker a few minutes ago. We've seen offensive maneuvers out of him since, but Breaker has turned the tides of this matchup. By that simple shoulder block to the outside, Breaker's looking like the favorite. Back inside the ring, Breaker could be looking for another fireman's carry. Press slam, Cody with the counter. Cody behind, crossroads! And that may do it, into the cover. Oh no, Breaker kicked out. Braun Breaker kicked out of Cody's best maneuver in the arsenal, the crossroads. Cody Rhodes pacing in the ring. Cannot believe that the number one contender survived. Oh, wait a minute, Cody. What doesn't work the first may work the second. A second crossroads. And that leads into victory here tonight in Baltimore, Maryland. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes fights war in between the ring, but comes out a soldier turned into a war veteran and a successful one at that on the other side as the United States Championship is held in its prestige and is held in the grasp of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Well, Cody Rhodes said he was willing to take on any and all comers, defeated Ricochet last month on SmackDown, and next on the list was Braun Breaker tonight. An impressive challenger that I'm sure will be back for more. But when it comes to business here tonight at No Mercy, the United States heavyweight title can only leave with one superstar. And that superstar's name is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th. Witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy. No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss championship clashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards all on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy!